Hey you guys, it's your girl to the gym back here and I'm coming to do a special order. So, one of my YouTubers um, contacted me and wanted me to do something for her. I've already prepped it so the video won't be long. She wanted these um, stones inside of, she loved this mold that I had got. If you guys didn't see this video, from where I got this mold from Michaels at 50% off it was um, $10 but I got the 50% off so I paid $5 for it um, so she loved these and she wanted it in the belt buckle and in some hearts and the zipper and she also wanted one of the flowers and a teddy bear so that's what I did and these molds right here for people who didn't know I made these molds um, this mold I got off of Etsy so let's get started so what you will need is your resin I've already mixed it and I've let it sit to let the air bubbles come up to the surface because it was a lot of bubbles and I use Evirotech resin from Michaels um, I use it when I get the 50% off and it lasts a long time then you're going you're, you're gonna need your note your molds always have molds set out for overage um, so I have extra molds out for overage then you would need the rocks and I got these a while ago from Walmart for $1.50 and these are what you use in your um, fish tanks or accent pieces and I love the colors you guys so I got this you would need micas if you were using them i'm not using any micas she just want the um super sparkle mica and just to see um this the rocks inside and i get all of my colorants from nurturesoaps.com look at this beautiful so um i made a lot because i'm making two videos today and i'm just going to add this in there into the whole thing because I use it on each one then you'll need something to stir with um, I have just a popsicle stick from the Dollar Tree and I ordered a bunch of these spoons to give out in my kits um, so I have one of these also because I already got my stick in there and I don't want to put it in there so let's get started look at this mica you guys it is super sparkles mica from nurture soaps so it's nurturesoaps.com if you guys go over there make sure you tell them that truly jam sent you i have a lot of resin in here so i'm just gonna put four and it's it goes everywhere you guys look at that look at that and these colorants are safe to use for <clears throat> they're safe to use for eyeshadows um any kind of i use them in my soaps Oh, yeah and you want to stir it in slowly but anytime you're using um, mica not mica yeah mica or some kind of glitter you don't get a lot a lot of bubbles because the glitter end up helping pop the bubbles and then I also use um, the heat method with the lighter to pop any bubbles now if I would take um, it doesn't heat up like other resins it don't heat up bad like other resins so um, what I do is I just watch it and whenever the bubbles come up to the surface but look at that isn't that beautiful so just imagine the rocks behind it so yeah I'm gonna start pouring I'm going to pour it in one of the cups that I've measured my resin in and these cups I get from Walmart This is gonna be super duper cute. I'm just using a stick to break the foam. 
And you don't want to fill that too much, just let it sink into the water plant. I'm going to say this is really going to be pretty. guys you don't have to worry about um how the back look because remember it's not going to be showing these are for cell phone cases i'm sorry so now we're gonna come back in 24 to well 15 to 24 hours um we're gonna let this cure and come back and demote them hey guys I'm back um, it's been I think 10 hours and it's fully hard hardened so I'm going to unmold these for you guys and let's look at them together that is super cute and of course, I will have to shine that up because as you can see, that shiny flower. That came out super cute. Like I said, um, these resin does have an expiration date. And I was at the last little bit of the resin. I was trying to use it all. And um, it was setting up pretty darn fast on me. So yeah, but I really love how this flower came out. Alright, let's see. And these, I hate these because you gotta make sure they're super duper hard before you pop them out. But this is really hard, so it shouldn't I'm just breaking away the edges. Pop. And I love it. It came out beautiful. It's so smooth. Let's see how the belt buckle look. That's going to be so cute once I glaze it. Because then it'll be shiny like that. Came out super over cute. The zipper in this mold is very detailed. If you haven't seen my other video, my haul video, go look at it. I will be showing you guys this phone case also. I think it's going to be so cute. I'm going to do the glazing in a separate video. So yeah, you guys, I love this mold. I hate that it doesn't come out shiny, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so anytime you see the doll, it's going to be dull. Unless you see um, the shiny on it. It's not going to be shiny. So, yeah. Let me know what you think about this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Thumbs them up. How do you think this case is going to look? you think it's going to be beautiful? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. Thumbs them up. Share it. Subscribe. Thank you, guys. Love you, guys. Bye.